John and John of They Might Be Giants told K-Rock about songwriting. Well, we, we write independently. Right? We're yeah. Both, yeah, I mean, in a way, that's like a way of getting a lot more done quickly because we're not always both in writing mode at the same time. In fact, I, I guess generally we're not, not in writing mode at the same time. Um, so we've even uh, collaborated on some of the songs, but we've done that by one of us working and then passing the work along to the other person. Um, I write a lot of songs just by like, playing with my accordion you know, and singing until something good happens, which is not as frequently as I'd like. I think you try you try to like make your own head spin, as I heard somebody else say once. You know that like the way you get started in a song is you come up with an idea that seems completely new and interesting, and then you work your way from there. It's which is all increasingly difficult once you know we've got now oh, with this album we've, we've got something like a hundred songs total recorded output. So it's it gets more difficult to come up with something that seems like uh, sig significantly different from everything else you've done. We have. I haven't really done the thing yet, which I know other artists are getting into, where which usually leads to lawsuits and stuff, where you actually take someone else's music and appropriate it wholesale and then claim that you wrote a song. We haven't quite reached that point yet, but we've done a lot of other things. Well, I thought all rock riffs were stolen. <laughs> There's a guy who has this encounter with um, a statue of some kind, and it makes his head explode. And that, so that's really all there is to the lyrics of the song. The statue got me high. The statue got me high. Um, it's not, the song is not about hard drugs, and it's not, it's not taking an advocacy position either. It's just describing this particular experience, which no one has ever had. <laughs> See, now, if you were listening to all of that, then you're a huge They Might Be Giants fan, and you'll agree with me that one of their best songs, Where Your Eyes Don't Go. And now, what you've all been waiting for, one of the things, They Might Be Giants. Here's a song we didn't write. People seem to like that. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. No, take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, but Constantinople got the work. That's nobody been but the Turks. Whoa! Istanbul, even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the worst? That's nobody's business but Istanbul. Thank you very much. But here's a new song that we're still trying to learn. It's called Ready? You want to talk some more? We were going to talk a lot, but maybe we'll just play the song. It's called Unrelated Thing. Do you smile cause I'm funny, said the man. I wasn't joking and I meant the thing I said. Not at all, not 
not at all Said the woman to the man I was thinking of an unrelated thing Unconnected and free Relationship to anything. How come you never look me in the eyes? Aren't you listening to me? Said the man. Not at all. Not at all. Said the woman to the man. I'm still thinking of an unrelated thing. Other than here Something else besides The man Please explain The expression on your face Then I'll know What you're thinking Said the man No, you won't No, you won't Said the woman Thinking of an unrelated thing Particle man, particle man Do the things a particle can What's he like? It's not important Particle man Is he a duck or is he a speck? When he's underwater does he get wet? Or does the water get him instead? Nobody knows Particle Man Triangle Man, Triangle Man Triangle Man hates Particle Man They have a fight, Triangle wins Triangle Man Of the entire universe, man Usually kind, smaller man Universe man He's got a watch with a minute hand Millennium hand and eon hand And when they meet, it's a happy land Powerful man, universe man Person man, person man Hit on the head with a frying pan Leaves his life in a garbage can Person man, is he depressed or is he a mess? Does he feel totally worthless? Who came up with person man, degraded man, person man? Triangle man, triangle man, triangle man hates person man. They have a fight, triangle wins, triangle man. instruments in the rock lexicon. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the blockage wheel. In the Christmas spirit. And how appropriate that we would be performing in Los Angeles this next song dedicated to the sunshine. Nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot, the sun is not a place where we could live. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat. We need its 
synergy Without a doubt, without the sun There'd be no you and me The sun is a mass of incandescent gas A gigantic nuclear furnace Where hydrogen is built into helium At a temperature of millions of degrees The sun is so hot that everything on it is a gas. Aluminum, copper, iron, wood, teeth, and many others. The sun is If the sun were hollow, a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a medium-sized star. It's about 93 million miles away! And that's why it looks so small. is a huge atom-smashing machine. The heat and light of the sun are caused by the nuclear reaction between oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen. Some of these things aren't true. Boron. Noxol. Arena. Huge. Gigantic wood. Ah! And many others. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace. Where hydrogen is built into helium At a temperature of millions of degrees Thank you all for coming. Merry Christmas, everybody! See, we can have a splendid Christmas time and learn something about the universe in which we live. It's Sluggo, and they might be giants there. 106.7 K Rock K R O Q. You know, I'd I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to talk to you from backstage here at the lovely Universal Amphitheater and the fourth K Rock Acoustic Christmas. But I must run because the cranberries are wandering around. They're going to go on stage in just a couple of seconds, and I would like to verbally intercourse with them before they do.